हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल पी टी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन फ्रेंड्स वेल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई गॉट फॉर रिपेयर एंड रिपेयरिंग टुडे क्यू एस सी के ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू एक्चुअल लोड स्पीकर दिस इज वन ऑफ बेस्ट एंड सुपीरियर आडो परफॉर्मेंस एम्पलीफायर सो नाविड मेनी पीपल्स आर यूजिंग दिस वन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ बेस्ट क्लास डिजाइन ऑडियो परफॉर्मेंस विद सुपीरियर ऑडियो परफॉर्मेंस यू कैन से सो लेट्स पुट इट ऑन एंड चेक वट इज द इश्यू सो विल कनेक्टेड टू द पॉवर फर्स्ट सो दिस इज द इनपुट वोल्टेज आई एम गिविंग नाउ सो आई विल जस्ट चेक द पावर इनपुट पावर सी टू थर्टी वोल्ट सो दर इज वोल्टेज सो नो आई विल कनेक्ट दिस वन So put it on. So it is completely dead. No power. Power is not getting on. So I am putting on the switch again. So there is no power at all. So it is completely dead. So put it off. Take it out the plug. So now what we will do? We will open it. Open from the back. So that we can take it out this one. And we will check from inside. Just keep watching my video, guys. We'll start dismantling this one. So, guys, I have removed the screws. Take it out this one. So, here is the one. This is a reflector, and here is the power supply. So, we need to remove this also. So, so guys, we have removed this one. See somebody try to repair and they left it like that. Okay, this is for the cooling fan. So here is the power supply. So what we'll do now? We'll take it out the power supply completely. This is for the speaker. So we'll take it out this one. We'll take it out this completely board. So then only we can able to check. This is the input input uh, board. This is the input board. And the power supply board and amplifier board. Both is inside this only. So guys, I have removed all the screws. So we'll take this out. See, this is like this. So we'll keep this like this. And we'll check over here. So we'll start working on this. Just keep watching my video, guys. So what is the issue in this? So we'll check each and every points as per my method. How I am checking, you know very well. So first I am checking voltage test. Then I'm if I have some doubts, then I will go through ohmic test. So we'll check step by step. So guys, uh, I have, we have removed the power supplier outside. So just I want to share you some information about the power supply of this module. Uh, power supply failure oftenly related to uh, some shorted power power MOSFETs uh, like this one Q13 or Q14. Uh, both MOSFETs oftenly fail together, but Sometimes just one uh, MOSFET can also able uh, will fail in some uh, instances. Unfortunately, uh, mo uh, most power supply MOSFET failure cause damage of PCB or tracks or uh, you know some other uh, SMD components. So these are the two MOSFETs Q13 and Q14. So but both are not the same number. They are both are different number. So as I said, you power failure, uh, power supply failure is often related to short, shorted or some uh, weakness of power MOSFETs. So I just want to share you this one and now amplifier. So let me tell you one more thing about this amplifier. This uh, QSC model, the uh, twelve point two. Uh, there are two class D half bridge amplifiers in this module. One amplifier is designed for low frequency, while the other is designed for high frequency. So pay close attention when replacing their MOSFETs. 
So now we'll start working on this. We'll apply input power and check what's the input power is coming or not. Just keep watching my video, guys. So guys, uh, these are the two MOSFETs. Both MOSFETs function is different. This is main internal MOSFET and this is a clamp FET internal MOSFET and this is a, you know active clamp flyback controller. This IC is the active clamp flyback transfer uh, flyback controller IC to control the clamp uh, internal MOSFETs. So this is the main MOSFET. So now what we will do, we'll apply power and check the voltage dropping or something like that. Is there any shorting or so we'll put power on and check. So now we'll check some voltages. Is there any secondary? Because this is the secondary line. I should get some voltage on the secondary also if it is switching on. So I will put it on. So we'll put it on. I'll put it on. Okay. So I'll put it on. I'll put it on now. So see guys, power is coming. See. Okay. So our power is coming over here. This, uh, so there is no there is no actually the voltage is not oscillating I mean see this is the secondary side this is SMPS so this is the secondary side I must get some voltages over here this is the ground I am not getting any voltage S15 but voltage is getting see very weak very very weak I should get here voltage here see there is no plus 15 at all so switching is not going on so it means that there is the problem in the power supply only so now what we will do we will take some ohmic test some ohms test then we will then we will check the, which, which is the faulty part over here ok we will put it off first So guys now what we will do, we will check on this MOSFETs, this is main MOSFET, this is clamp MOSFET and channel, so both functions different. There is a quite abnormal reading I am getting on this MOSFET my friend. is showing some kilo ohms shorted so what we'll do friend we'll just remove this two MOSFET we'll remove this two MOSFET and check Eleven NM sixty F. Check this one. So, guys, now this one. Now we'll check the condition of this MOSFET. See, I'm getting abnormal reading. I'll check on the ohms range now. See guys, 4.67 kilo ohms to showing. 
so this is abnormal reading so this will this is not completely shorted this is not completely shorted this is like you know partly we can say 50 50 percent so there is a problem with this mosfet only so we need to see it's showing between gate and uh, source so it is showing this much ohms and between gate and drain mega ohms so 0.6 mega ohms so for this is 4.7 kilo so now what we will do we will replace this only this mosfet now this mosfet, MOSFET looks ok ok so ok this mosfet looks ok there is no much uh, the reading is perfectly ok I don't think so this mosfet uh, unnecessary don't waste time removing out this mosfet because this is the main mosfet so what we will do we will replace this mosfet with the new one I got the new one mosfet with me uh, same this is 11 nm and this is 13 nm 60 uh, this is 600 volt 11 ampere and I'm putting 600 volt 13 ampere because I don't have 11 ampere but this is we can use it this is the equivalent we can say we can this is also n channel MOSFET so we can use this one this is the good one see MOSFET so this is perfect there is no reading here if you see this one see 0.1.7 if you check on ohms range 0 0.6 4.7 kilo ohms was this one see there is nothing so this is partly shorted so now we will replace this with this one ok guys just keep watching my video So guys, this is the faulty one. So this is the new one now. So we'll fix this new one. this one MOSFET quality one this is the one okay so this is the all the screws and check so guys we have already fixed everything connector we fix it back now it's time to check this one okay we'll put it on and check connect it so I'm putting on now put it on so guys it's working 
so guys it's working so our power supply is solved so now we'll just check the input signal when we give input signal we should get light here on the input signal light okay we'll give the input signal now we'll give the input signal see signal came so signal came this one see signal come here also so it means you can see the signal light signal so it means our system is good now working fine so I have not yet connected the speaker line because anyhow there is a problem with power supply so I have repaired it we have replaced one mouse ancient mouse so guys thank you very much for watching my video take care see you very soon next